Hello and welcome back to Robbie's Arcade and it's time for another bootleg game. These are the sort of games that personally I detest but moreover they are just hilarious to look at because when you see two different licenses as big as going to the options menu there as big as the likes of Virtua Fighter and Tekken the idea that there's someone bootlegger out there has seen these two licenses and thought I've got an idea I'm going to make a few quid I'm going to make some crappy 2D version for people that own a Mega Drive that could, you can't afford a Sega Saturn or a Playstation or any of those different consoles and con them into thinking that this cartridge is going to work on their host system. Now this game is not endorsed by Sega, it is not endorsed by Namco, it is not endorsed by anyone involved in those franchises. Dare I say it is not endorsed by any reputable retailer. What this is, is a cartridge that was sold on the black market in Taiwan and some of them made it out of the country to the UK, the US and Europe and the ROM of course is freely available. It's not owned by anyone. Now these ROMs are shaky at best but of all of the ROMs that I've seen on this uh, that I'm showing you on this channel this is the one for me that actually looked the best I've played um, X-Men vs Street Fighter on the snares a terrible bootleg pirate ROM that was um, I've played um, Tekken 3 Street Fighter Alpha 3 all some awfully made ROMs but this is the only one where a little and I really do mean a little bit of extra work went into the development not only because it features characters from outside of the Tekken and Virtua Fighter franchise, but also because a little bit extra work went into the music and the graphics, and I really do mean a little. Um, now, straight away, the other videos, one of the running themes with these bootleg games is that they are insanely hard. They were not developed and tested in the way that conventional games have been done, and so we are gonna set this to infinite energy. We're gonna set the ener <coughs> energy of the opponent to the smallest, <coughs> we're gonna set every round to the smallest amount, and we're gonna try and see if we can reach the boss. We're gonna put the time on infinite, enemy level we're gonna make as easy as sin, and I know you're thinking, I have crippled this game, how on earth is this going to be a fair game to watch? But take my word for it, <clears throat> you are going to watch something atrocious. So without further ado, it's time for VR Fighter versus Tacken 2. We will address that in the trivia later. Straight away we have music, we have a counter. This is something that was not present in the other game, in all the other bootlegs we've played, but take of his own medicine, Kazuya. So here we go. So we got the graphics there. We've got a much bigger, uh, wider res resolution. We've got the graphics of the birds, which they seem to be remarkably proud of, given that they just keep using it. The controls are just terrible. There's a punch, a kick, and a block. But for the most part, there's no, you can't combine the buttons in any way. If you jump and leave the kick, you don't press the kick immediately, the game won't let you kick. <clears throat> and we've defeated Kazuya versus Kazuya, but one would have already noticed I barely performed a single move there. And a very bizarre splash versus screen, but let's carry on. Oh no, and apparently, we do need that block button. <clears throat> the special moves are performed by double clicking forward twice and then down. And there we go, we've defeated Barn. Carry on, see how we're doing. Next, Kazuya versus Paul. Another Tekken classic. At least they've made a little bit more of an effort with the backgrounds. But that said, it's still a dreadful game. Music, no differing in the music, but we do have a counter. I mean, at the top, the graphics for the energy bar seem better. We've got a timer there on the bottom right, as you would expect from the 3D beat-em-ups we've discussed. We've got a uh, splash versus screen. We've got different backgrounds. We have people from Fighters Megamix. And the music changed. Even if the music didn't really blend too beautifully. No, this is a pinch better than the previous um, 
ROMs that we've talked about and shown on the channel before, but it should still be added. This is awful. I think you can mark any game's bad development if you can defeat the enemy just by pressing down and kick indefinitely. But you know what? Let's have a little bit of trivia, shall we? So we have a moving background there as well with the boat, but if we look at it, so Virtua Fighter 2 uh, versus Tekken 2, the bootleg game, once again, un not endorsed by any, and I repeat, any of the manufacturers of Tekken or Virtua Fighter. It was released in 1998, a golden period in terms of piracy and bootlegging of games for the Mega Drive. Um, it's referred to, as you saw from the title screen, as VR Fighter versus Tekken 2. Now, the reason for that being, the, 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 VR, the VR Fighter can actually be partially explained, as this is a literal translation of the Chinese title Virtua Fighter. Um, but what is VR? Who knows? Because um, what's happened is, this is a game that's been translated from English into Chinese and uh, Japanese, but prior to that, it already had a Japanese style, so it's just completely muddled up in translation, but no one has any idea about Takken 2. Um, there is an option, as you saw, to select the, your health to Invincible, but as you probably saw there, it didn't say no damage, it said no damage. So, sounds a bit South African, but this game is notorious with bad spelling. Um, the, even though the game says it's Virtua Fighter 2 versus Tekken 2, there are several other, there are fights from other games. There's two from Fighting Vipers, and two from another lesser known uh, Sega game, but they are hidden and not on that menu. Likewise, uh, game, in some games similar to this, there is no ending screen apparently. The game just says congratulations at the end, which we'll hopefully see, and the characters rendering in charcoal in the background. So no end screen, so no payoff at all for completing this piece of crap game. And lastly, the hitting effects apparently come from Sonic 2. The actual names of the files are from jumping and blocks that break. Uh, from uh, Sonic the Hedgehog 2, so they've been stolen as well from Sega. And of course the game is littered with spelling mistakes, just like almost every ROM you will play. But let's get back into the game, shall we? So at least we've got an improved graphic there of a boat. I'm willing to bet we're going to see that boat a lot over the next few minutes. Sorry to keep repeating that move, but I'll be honest, it is the only move I know because I've tried every different variation of move, performing a move and that's the only one so far. Again, I'm not going to say this is a good game because that would be a lie, but it's better than the other emulated um, bootleg ROMs that I've played. So here we go, we've just surpassed round five with Lee. There's no character backstory, no cutscenes, nothing. This game is limited in the extreme and Jun does not look like Jun. They've given her the move, I can see there, her popular combo. The start of her 10 hit combo anyway but this is by no means the game that we know and love oh we actually performed the uppercut i'd love to tell you that i know how that i did that move but i have no idea i've tried every permutation of a street fighter maneuver oh here we go there we go we've worked out how to do it it's for those watching it's forward down forward delay punch and I know you're thinking not that different from the move in the Tekken series but I would go as far as to say you shouldn't have to leave that much of a delay and there you go we've nailed Heihachi there Jun, Heihachi, Lee the entire lineage of that family line is getting royally screwed here we go we're up against Shun and I get the impression all we're going to do is fight up against the 10 characters that this game arrives with Okay, but again, unsurprisingly, the hit detection is awful. Also, we're definitely seeing a repeat of this round, this level, I should say. And here we are. Moving, we're in round eight. Again, no idea who Lion is. But we, I believe we may have found a new background with moving trees. Fair play to the game. Now, I can quite honestly say anyone that purchased this game 
you would have been angry. Maybe people would have gone on holiday and seen that all of these games were available and thought to themselves, oh, I haven't an idea. Why don't I grab myself a copy of that wonderful Tekken game that everyone's talking about? On the Mega Drive as well. We can't seem to get this. Maybe it hasn't been released in our country yet. And that's when I've got to feel a little sorry. Because some poor kid probably spent the tiny amount of spending money he had on this game. So the number of like children and teens that must have been devastated when they purchased these games when on holiday with their parents only to be massively disappointed that in itself is probably the biggest crime here and not just the insane copyright infringement but let's face it we all want to know what happens even though i already said what happens at the end we want to know what this disappointment looks like Ooh. I'll be honest, I'm going to have a long, hard think after I've played this game and think about what I've done. I hope the manufacturer behind it made enough money from creating this godforsaken, awful piece of monstrous crap and at least feels, if not a pinch of guilt, then at least ended up heavily in debt. But, as we continue... All of that and he was defeated by a simple roundhouse kick. 4 minutes 47 seconds so far, let's see what happens. Okay, Pi. So up to 11 characters of the 12, let's have a look. The turnaround detection is genuinely atrocious here. we go we've killed a uh, pie off now i believe the next round will be our final round let's see how that pans out shall we who are we going to be up against akira look at the difference between those sprites did they just get bored or did there's just no consistency here oh the damage of that hit though once again, I can't stress this enough, there's no way I would have made it this far on this broken piece of crap without the use of it. Um, no damage. There we got him. We got him at the end with the spinning kick there. So let's get our wonderful end screen. Let's taste what rewards we've got here. Congratulation. Not even a plural. And there you have it. That was a VR Fighter versus... Tekken 2. Awful, awful game. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. I know I didn't. If you want to see more bootleg games or, or you've got any recommendations of games that you saw that were just Mickey Mouse, rip-offs, pirates, etc., pop them down here in the comments and we'll see if we can name and shame them here on the channel. But otherwise, I hope you enjoyed this video and I look forward to seeing you next time. And don't forget to click like and subscribe if you did enjoy this video. Cheerio.